What's going on you guys? This is DJ from Big Chief and I'm here today to show you the Rulo 200 watt. This is the RX 200 version and the Doge V3. Big upgrade from the other Doge versions in my opinion. I like it. Alright, so let's go ahead and dive into this. Dive into the box real quick. This is what you're going to see when you get it. You got your user's manual. And then underneath the box here, pull that out. And then you have a charging cable. A little USB port right there on it. Although I do recommend to just take your batteries out and charge them that way. Charging three batteries through the device will take some time and I'm very impatient. I like to get right to it. So that's just my recommendation. So with this device you have your fire button, your up and down wattage buttons, micro USB port for charging, and the connection pin is a floating uh, spring-loaded pin, so it should fit any RDA that you want to put on there. So this device is 50 millimeters by 40 millimeters this way. Very bulky device. This is a 200 watt device. Uh, it goes from 1 to 200 watts in 0.1 increments, so you can fine-tune it as much as you like. It has um, temperature control. It does your titanium wire, your nickel wire, your stainless steel 316 wire, and your canthal wire. So you have plenty of options. You can do whatever you want with this thing. So this does take three batteries. show you how they go in. So in the back here you can see it's kind of hard to see in this lighting but you can see that there are uh, directions it shows you how to put your battery in. So in the back you have your negative going up. Put these two in. All right and then up here is where I'm gonna put my positive my negative is gonna be down here. Put that in. All right, the device just comes right on. No need for five clicks. And put the back on. And voila. There is reverse polarity protection too, so if you put your batteries in wrong, it's just not going to turn on. It's not going to do anything. Won't harm your device. Won't harm you. All you got to do is take your battery out, put it in the right way. You'll be good to go. Okay, so right now I am in wattage mode. And just for the sake of showing you, I'm going to go ahead, click it three times, cycle down, just pick any random uh, temperature control function, just so you can kind of see, it's really rough, but right now I'm in Fahrenheit, and this goes from 200 to 600 degrees. And then if you want to use Celsius, you just click up again once it's at its max, and it switches to the lowest Celsius, which is 100, and it'll go up to 315. So just so you know how to do that, now it's back at Fahrenheit. So I'm going to go ahead and get back to wattage mode, so it's going to be three clicks of the fire button. Just going to scroll through, wattage, click the fire button again, and voila, I'm back. Here we have the Doge V3, have a ceramic tip on top, nice big well, if I can get that off, there we go, put some parallels on there a little earlier, right before I came in here, it's a four post design, uh, the holes in the post aren't as big as the previous Doge's, but still big enough to get what you need in there, plenty of room for me. <clears throat> like I said again, there is four posts. The middle post is uh, it's brass, so you have a little bit better conductivity than if it was stainless steel. And this thing does hit like a beauty. 
Here are your airflow holes, one on each side. And if you want to adjust your airflow, what you've got to do is put your cap on, and there, these little slots, I guess you could say, these lips, they uh, those act as your airflow. So you're going to twist that. Now it's closing off the airflow a little bit, makes it for a tighter draw. Without the right build, this is way too much airflow, fully open. Um, now that I have the parallels on here, I can keep it wide open because it's plenty enough vapor coming out. I need more airflow for it, and I'm running at 100 watts. So. Plenty of clouds that come out of this thing. This is a freaking fog machine. That's what this is. This combination right here is nasty. That's a two second hit. So, just so you can see what you got coming at you, these things slam. And the Doge is a 22 millimeter RDA. So it'll sit flush on most mechanical devices, uh, most box mods, except for this one. This one is kind of huge, but I mean, it does have a, a dip in it, so it does fit flush in that little well. You just want to make sure you take this RDA off or any RDA that you put on here. Check for juice underneath because you don't want juice getting in this battery. Um, it'll destroy your, vi your device. I've seen it happen plenty of times. You don't want that happen. These things... They may be reasonably priced, but you still want to take care of them because it beats buying a whole new one. So, that's all I have for y'all today. Vape on. Keep kicking ass like a big chief.